Sunday, you can smell the fresh breaking. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we got some exciting stuff going on. We're gonna go camping, we're gonna go off-roading, all in the same place. Um, gonna be my buddy Kevin, Brandon's coming out, taking his Jeep, and uh, we're gonna check out some caves and do a whole bunch of stuff. So, uh, sit back and enjoy. <laughs> Had to get you a cold start of the Nissan. Sounds so good. We head out, we gotta stop by and grab a new pot to uh, do cooking in tonight. I also gotta get some food. Um, last time I went camping, if you guys watched that video when I was with Kevin, we stayed at, where was it again? What state park was it? I can't remember. Anyway, uh, the pasta I had that night, I left in the pot and I did not clean it up. So needless to say, we threw that pot away because there was just no saving it. So we're here at Wally World, gonna get us another pot and um, probably just gonna go like a mountain meal tonight. I don't think I'm gonna cook anything. I don't think I'm in the mood for that. So yep, something easy. Here we go, Wally World. All right, let's see what they got beef stew that one was really good so we'll take that one and then for pots and pans I might just grab this set right here it's pretty much what I had last time okay so the next stop we got to make before we head out uh, the citrus in that area is we got to go buy my buddy Brandon's business here in town he, um, he has a business uh, server signs and graphics is the name of it and he pretty much can make anything you want your logo on right so I had him make something up for the channel it's, he said it's ready. We're gonna go by and pick it up, and uh, I'll let you guys check it out. I think you're really gonna like this. All right, pulling up the server. Let's go check out. See what we got. Here we go. Check these hats out. So we got black one. We got a khaki. Got kind of an OD green on that. And my favorite one, I think, is gonna be the camo. These are all Richardson 112s. Super nice. I'm gonna get some made up for the channel. So if you guys want to purchase these, if you like these, let me know, and uh, we'll get some made up. I think they look awesome. Got up here citrus. Uh, I'm gonna show you who we're with today. Kevin and his Ford Maverick. It's me and the Nissan. And Brandon and his Jeep. Um, you might remember Brandon. We're gonna do some riding around. Um, then we'll set up camp a little later. Here's the main cave we came up to, the first one. Let's see if you can see in there. It's a pretty big cave. I bet you this is probably 50 square foot right here and there's another room right down through there uh i'm not crawling down through there but you get the idea so pretty neat if you guys want to you can come out here yourself i'll show you where it is when we get to uh almost fell when we get back out to the road i'll show you where it is but yeah there's another little small one here that Obviously not getting in that either, but yeah, pretty cool. There's two more, so we're gonna head to that over here, and then there's another big one over there. So, see so if we we'll go down this one first. Let's see if I can do it without breaking my neck. Not much over here. I think the other one's bigger. Give you an idea of how deep down this cave is. Let's walk up to the other side. Was there an entrance on this side? It doesn't go anywhere. Oh. That's what they were saying when they came out. They were like, There's another one. Again, it doesn't really go anywhere. But pretty cool. There's the other one with a much bigger opening. Fire ring down there. Um, there is an opening around the backside, so we're gonna check that out and get down in there. I'll turn around here in a second. Sunday, 
day, you could smell the fresh spray paint. Like, we must have just came after somebody, and it smelled like aerosol cans so strongly here. Second room. I'll show you that tiny entrance we came in through. But, pretty good size. Some very fine graffiti by uh, yeah. <laughs> Citrus County's finest. This leads yeah. to the next room. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> That's where all the water body drains out into another cave. But if you look right over here, you can see this goes into another little room. You can see some smaller kids probably, you know, crawl, crawl through there. You can see like hand, out of here. You can see like hand marks and like grease from the people. Was, was you can see fingernail younger, marks. People being buried alive. If I was twenty years younger, I'd go in there. I don't know. I can't. I would. No, ma'am. Believe it or not, when this is dry, you actually people do go in this hole here. But what was we not going to? That's where we came out of. That small room. It's back in there. And you come out of there, back to the main opening. Yeah, you have an idea how steep it is to get in here and out of here. There is the exit. So, obviously you can't tell anything on camera. I don't know why you even try, but you get the idea. It's got up to, uh, I'm assuming this is Peace Cave here, a Citrus. Let's see. So this one's almost a six foot drop straight down. There's a drink if oh, you get thirsty. There. There's a drink if you get thirsty. There's people in there. Oh, it's that big. God. Get out of here. We'll wait for them to come out like this before we do this. <laughs> how big this big is. In there. Kevin's about six foot and <laughs> he uh he's barely six even in there. three man. At least he's Next one, we're gonna check out one more cave, and then I think we're gonna go to the camp. Maybe do some trail riding uh, a little bit after that, maybe. I'm not sure what we're doing. I'm just following along. Like an idiot, left my flashlight in the truck, so. Not as much as the other cases are in. Oh, yeah. Oh, this one crack. Right. Get me an inflatable mat, then I'm sleeping here. Right. But the, temp the temperature difference, though, between okay. this one. Down here is the opening that you saw from down at the bottom. Pretty nice little spot. All right, we're gonna walk back to the trucks. All right, so Nissan just made it up this. Kevin and his Maverick. It's about to give it a shot. Got it. All right, cut back. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Give her the beans. There you go. There you go. Get it.
go ahead. All right, so you just saw Kevin and his Maverick come up that same same thing I did. It's funny how capable this truck is. He hasn't done a lift to it, hasn't done tires to it, nothing. This is a stock Ford Maverick, um, Lariat FX4. And uh, it gets just about anywhere my truck gets. I mean, you can't go in like big mud holes and shit, but a lot of places, if not all places I've been in mine, he's been in his. A little size um, comparison. So my truck is Maverick which is basically a car, right? It's not even a body on frame, it's a unibody. It lifted up all the tires, but it made it down and up this a couple times. No problem at all. So we just got into the campground, Holder Mine, and uh, we're about to get set up for here for a little bit. We're taking a break. Kevin and I are pretty tired. Well, I am. I don't know if Kevin is, but I'm pretty tired. Did a lot of hiking today. Wasn't wearing uh, proper footwear, so I'm pretty beat. But we're going to hang out here, and uh, we'll see you guys a little bit later. Kevin and I went and got both tents set up, um, letting everything cool off, let the hot air out of those tents. So uh, we do have hookups here. So... We're going to hook up our Zero Breeze air conditioners in here tonight. But for right now, just got the doors open, letting air out a little bit before we start cooking and getting hot again. So, I went ahead and got the Zero Breeze hooked up in the tent. It's up in there cooling everything off. Um, as you can see, we're hooked up the power. So I have it on the highest setting. The coldest setting is just going to blow like that all night. And uh, it's honestly quite a bit colder in there already. It's probably been running for six minutes or so. Um, I did not hook up the back vents because uh, one of these vents, I think it's this one is the exhaust, hot air is coming out. And this one over here is the intake with the cold air is coming in. Um, I'm not sure if it makes that big of a difference. Honestly, it's a bit of a pain in the ass to hook up. So I'm not gonna do that. See how that goes. And then condensation hose stripped down there and it's right up inside the tent. Um, let me hop up in there and you can see where it's coming in at. So I'm trying to there, there you go. That's where it's coming in at. Um, like I said, it's noticeably cooler in here already. So I'll let it run for a while and uh, should make it a pretty comfortable night. All right, so we're gonna cook some supper as you guys saw earlier. We got the beef stew, got to grill out. I'm gonna fire up some water. There we go, let's see. First try, look at that. Bad boy sit for five minutes. And there you go. Honestly, it smells super good. <laughs> I'm pretty excited to try it. Like I eyeballed just enough water. So we'll right, give it a we got shot. a campfire going. We're gonna hang out here for a little bit. Let me show you the uh, the bed lights now that it's dark. So this is the lights for obviously the white LED, right? Fully lights up the tailgate. And if we switch to the ambers, which I think look really good, but they're really bright. I'm pretty happy with that. 